go on, roll out. That's not a bad start to the morning, yet yeah, those infamous line that it is now, nothing feels like a Mizuno. But nothing feels like a Mizuno putter, really? Now this thing is about feel. Like I said, for me, uh, the words using feel in a putter is a big deal because I am, as you know, a massive fan of forged irons. It's not everybody's thing. It doesn't mean a great deal to a lot of people, but for others, it's, it is like me. It's a big deal. And I love that pure feeling of a forged iron. And Mizuno do that really, really well. But to do it in a putter, what does it do? Why, why is forged, uh, forged head in a putter? such a good thing or a positive thing. Well, for me, again, it's about what resonates back into their hands. Putting is a, whole, is a feel thing in terms of pace. Forget alignment for now, but for pace, it's all about feel. It's all what you get back into their hands. So that understanding between what sort of swing, how much effort you put into that put in relation to what's gonna happen when a ball comes off the club face is a really important factor to how you put. And what they've done with this, they've made it, it is incredibly soft. It is, like I say, it's very much like, I would say, how an iron feels from Mizuno. And it does resonate back in the hands. And I think if you played with this over a period of time, that's that understanding that you would get between your hands, your stroke, and that putter head, I think could only be a positive. this I don't know whether it's doable is that ball on camera yes it is right so I've lined up my line which is on the ball a ball marking uh, against sort of the hole where I would like it to be um, one thing that is very good on this putter again is the sort of alignment very much clean lines uh, cut away at the back two white lines either side frame the ball quite nicely and for me that's a good three lines I've got on the ball two either side of the putter an easy way to get alignment and I'm pretty square, happy with that, and good to go. Can we hold it? <laughs> Do you know what? It wasn't a bad effort. But the point being, the alignment aid on it, very clean and very easy to line up. One of the things to talk about with this line of putters is the ability to change the weight of it. And again, whether that appeals to many, I don't know. But for me, I personally like a heavier putter. I like to feel the, uh, the putter head. Um, so you've got, it comes as standard with two eight gram weights in those two ports that you see, uh, both at heel and toe. Um, but the little kit that comes with it gives you interchangeable weights. And I think they're three gram. And as I've got in here, two 13 gram weights. So it's at its heaviest weight. But that ability to change it and get it suited to how you particularly feel. I think again, it's, I like that. I, I like that touch because for me, that eight gram between the 13 and the eight is a notable difference and I much prefer this option. I'm just going to hold this, um, I don't know, 30 foot on camera. It'll go in. Right. Alignment's good. Just got to roll it in. Oh, it's a good roll as well, you know, but it's not hard enough. Oh, that is right on line. Hey, can I make a request that if you like what you see on this channel, then please consider hitting that subscribe button and, uh, and also hitting that like button. And if you don't like what you see, well, I, I do neither, to be quite honest with you. We'll draw this one to a head because putter videos, well, they can never be too interesting. And I think it's very much about personal opinion and it's hard for me i can give you some idea on what the key differences are between different putters but like i said very personal thing cnc milled face you've probably seen that from the close-ups it's beautiful the word pure is probably something i'd use with this putter comes off the club faces if it's giving it that sort of forward roll which is nice to see there was three models introduced last year which were very much the traditional style 
I must admit, I never got to try them. I never even got to see them, if I'm honest with you. Not a massive deal made of it, but they've released three new putter styles, which will come out in February 21. Um, they're priced, the RRP in British UK pounds is 249, so it's got a hefty price tag with it. Uh, I don't know what that'll retail at, probably it won't be at 249. But I think you've got to remember what you're getting in terms of your money. Like I said, this is a forged head, CNC milled. It oozes quality. And we've already mentioned about the sort of weight situation that you can adapt to your own personal uh, choices. So overall, you know, it is a really, really nice piece of kit. That's the way I'd describe it. And the feel element, well, you know, nothing feels like a Mizuno. And now nothing feels like a Mizuno putter. It is very, very soft. But does it hold putts? Not that one. Come on, one more on camera to finish. Have we got it? He's got it. Right, see you soon. Don't forget, hit the like button, comments down below. If you've tried one of these, helps your fellow uh, golfers uh, get some feedback, like I've said in the previous video. This is just my opinion, but if you've tried one of those earlier models, sticky comments down below. What do you think of Mizuno putters? Would you put a Mizuno putter in a bag? That's an interesting one for me. Um, other than that, we're all done. I'll see you all soon.